What's going on, YouTube fam? Brandon Epstein here from Mental Fitness Training. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make that voice in your head a little bit nicer. Okay, so let's just get right into it. We all have self-talk, right? There's some voice in our head, it's either saying nice things or it's beating us up, right? It's either pushing us towards what we want or it's pulling us away from what we want. And most people are aware that there's a voice there, but they don't really pay too much mind to it. They just notice that sometimes it might be hard on themselves or beating themselves up, this, you know, making themselves feel guilty, making themselves feel shame. But most people don't take the time to actually ask, where's this voice coming from? Is this me? Is this like, is there someone else in my head? <laughs> well, the fact of the matter is that when you have self-talk in your head, it's literally just a bubbling up of what's going on in your subconscious. You see, your conscious mind, your rational mind, where you hear this self-talk, it can only process a few bits of information per second. Approximately 6 to 40 bits of information per second. Your subconscious, it can process over 40 million bits of information per second, which means that your whole life basically <laughs> exists on the subconscious level. And so, where do your best thoughts come from? Your aha moments, or the thoughts that are beating you up, or lifting you, or beating you down, or lifting you up? They all just come from your subconscious. And so I want you to think about your subconscious as this supercomputer that has all this software written to help you do all the things you need to do to live your life, basically to keep you alive, to help you survive. That's what the mechanism is all about. So it does everything from digest your food, to grow your hair, to beat your heart, to also storing all of your life's memories and most impactful events on the subconscious level. Because you can't keep all that in your conscious mind at all times, right? So what happens is your subconscious stores all of this and it stores it in the form of energy in your physical body. And so when you start to hear a voice say something like, you're so lazy, I can't believe you didn't do that thing that you said you're supposed to do. Well, that's not just you consciously choosing to be mean to yourself, that's just a feeling that's emerging attached to a belief that you believe to be true on the subconscious level. Now, we don't need to get into where all these subconscious programs in the form of beliefs came from, but we do need to understand the mechanism of our subconscious and how it learns. See, it learns through creating beliefs, and these beliefs kind of serve your survival mechanism in a way that if you come in contact with something that was dangerous before, there's gonna be immediate perception that comes through your, your, your eyesight or your, your ears, hearing, or smelling, or tasting, or whatever, some kind of sensory experience. You're gonna have this perception that's attached to that belief that says, hey, you better run away from this if you wanna survive. So it's a survival mechanism. And so much of what makes us who we are here in modern day especially is just this programming that's kind of happened from default on the subconscious level. I mean, most of it comes from the ages of zero to nine years old. And then we have these big impactful events throughout our life that also add more and more programming. And with more repetition, there's more deeper, deeper programming installed at that subconscious level. So, okay, so what do we do about this, right? Now that we have this recognition of the negative self-talk is only negative because your subconscious beliefs below the surface are bubbling up and saying these negative things to you. So what I want you to do is the next time you start to hear negative self-talk in your head, and just some voice saying not nice things to you, beating you down, beating you up, beating you around, I want you to take a moment and just acknowledge, well, what is the feeling that I'm having right now? Shame, okay. Let's say shame. So what are you believing to be true that's making you feel shameful right now? And then you just have to sit in the space of this, of just observing. A few deep breaths will usually get you there. Just ask that question. What am I believing to be true that's making me feel shame right now? And if you wait long enough and you're patient with it, what's going to bubble to the surface is what's going on at the subconscious level, which is you're believing something that's making you feel the shame, right? And so maybe you feel shame because you didn't do something you said you were gonna do, something you committed to. So maybe the belief is that whenever 
I don't do something that I say I'm going to do, I need to feel bad about myself, right? And so none of these are conscious. These are just subconscious programs that are written to help you survive and thrive. Now, a lot of times they don't help you thrive. They mostly just help you survive. So when you recognize a belief like this, you need to transmute it, which happens through taking three steps. Number one, acceptance. Oh shit. I believe this to be true. That's a, that's not a belief I want to hold on to, but it's true and I have to accept it right now. Step number two, surrender it. Yes, it is true for me right now. And I am surrendering. I'm surrendering it now. Step three, transmute and choose a new belief, right? So if someone's feeling shame because they're not following through with something they said they're going to do, depending on the circumstance, maybe you want to keep that there and you want to use it as motivation to make you do the thing next time, or you can change the belief and you can say, Oh, maybe I believe that I need to do these things sometimes to feel good. Right? And then you give yourself a little more wiggle room. As humans, we're just so hard on ourselves and we have so many of these subconscious programs written that really put us in a situation where we are constantly beating ourselves up in our conscious mind. Our self-talk is not nice. That voice is not nice to us. So if we want to change the voice, we need to change basically the puppeteer behind the puppet, which is your subconscious mind. Now, if you want help with this, I do have a lot of training. So I'm going to put some of them down in the description below. This is what I'm passionate about. I take people through this process step by step, my one-on-one -on -one clients, my group clients, and I would love to take you through it as well if you're interested. Because the voice in your head is not going to change. It's going to keep saying the same things over and over and over again until you go in and you change the subconscious programming. Because the conscious self-talk is just a bubbling up of what's going on beneath the surface. So if we want to change our conscious rational experience, we need to change what's beneath the surface and it is 100% possible. One of the main mechanisms for changing it is getting yourself back into the state to where they were originally programmed. So most of us get a lot of these programs from when we were a kid because we're in almost a hypnotic state. Our brain waves drop down into a slower state than where we usually function as conscious adults. And so if we can slow our brain waves, we can incept these new beliefs. There's a whole process to it. So there's some videos on my channel. I talk about this a little bit, but the training is really what's going to take you step by step through this process. And one thing I have to say is that it's not for everyone. It's definitely a type of training that I've seen, like basically the top 1% of people out there are willing to do it because you have to face your demons. You have to find out, well, what's beneath the surface that is so terrible. It's making me feel so bad consciously. Now this process is honestly really beautiful because once you understand what's beneath the surface, you can accept it, surrender it, and change it. But there's a big ego death process to actually observing what is beneath the surface and it's not for everyone, right? A lot of people just want to stay unconscious, just kind of go through the motions, do whatever they have to do, get through life. But that's not who I'm speaking to. I'm speaking to those of you out there who are the top 1% who really want to step into their full power, to embrace fulfillment and peak performance on every level and really commit to self mastery. So if that's you, check out the training below because it is that simple. If you want the voice in your head to say nice things to you, you have to change the subconscious programs that are creating the conscious thoughts and words in your mind. All right. Hopefully this makes sense. Uh, I know it's a, a little bit into the weeds. So if anything's confusing, that's what the training about. And I have many videos on this channel talking about this as well. So drop any comments, questions you have below, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And thank you for watching. This is Brandon Epstein. Catch you in the next video.